today I am with Christian Marino. Okay, so he got top eight at Worlds playing the top deck Night March, which is kind of weird because most people don't want to play the like big deck. Is there any reason that you felt like playing the big deck? I don't know, right? Like, I don't even know why I play Night March Worlds now. You're just thinking back and you're just like, wait, why the heck did I play Night March? Yes, and I'm still wondering. <laughs> maybe, maybe I was testing it. Maybe, maybe you were like, do you have any friends that you test with a lot? Yeah. So no, you I'll just like test. No, you're just like testing Night March to play with them, and you have no idea. And then you just like continuously test Night March, and then you forget that you're just playing it, and then you start playing it for worlds and stuff. Yeah. I, I think I was going to play, like, Skill for Worlds. Oh, wow. And then you just accidentally switched to Night March or something? Yeah. Well, you it, did pretty well, to be fair. It's just really bad when you press four Night Marchers. Yeah. Terrible. I mean, your f first three games were uh, three trips. <laughs> and then three Dark Ride Garatinas for the last three matches. Wait, your last three matches were Dark Ride Garantina. Yeah, my matches were stacked. <laughs> so three Trevs, then three Dark Ride. Yeah, I I think I could have went seven zero if I battled them though. Although to be fair, don't really want to take that risk. I mean, no, but they wanted ID against me. Yeah, that's what got. They're like ID, okay, ID, okay. Got they're just like, oh, oh, he's willing to ID. Okay, I'll take that. And actually, a, a little note about me and Christian. After Worlds, I gave Christian a little bit of a nickname. Christian Tree Chopper Marino. And Christian, would you like to explain how I gave you that nickname? I think three Trevor Inch in a row. Yeah. I don't know how. It's like one turn of items, you get like... 180 plus you discard all your lampants and Joltics, and then you're good for the game. So yeah, basically the way you beat Trev with Night March is that you just rush them, right? Yeah, they couldn't even get a Trev in a breakout. <laughs> so three Trevs beaten in a row, that's, 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 that's really crazy to be fair. Are there they any cards in your list that you would have changed? No, I would keep it the same. Really, you like every single thing exactly how it is? Mm-hmm. It'd be a four shaman. Four shaman? Wow. Yeah. Okay, because looking through your list, it's like a pretty standard Night March list. No teammates. Oh, well, yeah, there is no teammates. So, do you want to go over why you picked no teammates? Because that's, that's pretty weird. But the reason is, I, I really did not play teammates in my deck a lot, and I heard it was good, but I, I never found space for it, and I forgot it, but I still wouldn't play it in my list for some reason. Uh, it's like a good card, but it's clunky. So, well, how long have you been playing Pokemon? Uh, this is my, like, my second year. Uh, and uh, how did your year go this year? I mean, besides Top 8 at Worlds. Well, I won a regional and made second and two regionals, and I made top four next. That's so it went through. anything else? States, World? cities. Oh yeah, I won like I won like thirteen cities and two states. Did you really and go to thirteen cities? Yeah, lots I of. I bet bolts. you had a lot of fun. It was fun. So. I and I didn't. I played like Mega Manetric for like ten cities. How long did you, how long before Worlds did you decide to play Night March? Like, I guess a month before. Like, I, I didn't even want to play it just because I kept on missing the battle compressors with the knockout. Uh, what are the cards that, like, barely, like, made it into the list? Like, that you were about to cut, but decide not to? A D Valley. Uh, the, oh, the third Dimension Valley? Yeah, I was thinking about cutting it, just because there's going to be, like, Trevenant and Night March. And then, 
Uh, what are some cards that almost made it into your list? Uh, like an, a second Mew? I'll think about a second Hex at once. Uh, instead of the Ranger, I'm guessing. Huh? Yeah. Instead of the Ranger, yeah. I'll think about putting the Ranger, too. Uh. That actually won me a game. So, Ranger so, did it. So, yeah, looking at your list, you don't run Captivating Pokepuff or really any, like, special tricks or anything. What was your thought process behind that? Did you just want to run Night March, like, really consistent? Yeah, I guess. I mean, like, my lists are really are not consistent. But my Mega Raid deck at Regionals, it was never even consistent. Like, 19 Pokemon... So, my list never been consistent, but it, I always do good with inconsistent decks. And one big question is, why are you not running Night March Vespaquin? Well, I feel like Vespaquin in the deck is just like something that I, do, I would not add, just because you just need more stuff to drop, and Night March really just doesn't, I just don't like dropping stuff, lots of stuff at the essentials you need. So, I Consistency get Consistency first. Yeah. And the Vespa Queen, I just really didn't like it. Just because you would have to get, like, an evolution line. And an evolution line, it's like one more turn that your opponent can knock you out by. So, as I talked, you faced, like, three Trevs in a row. And then, yeah. so, kind of talk about each of those matches and what happened the rest of the tournament. So, round one, I had a guild against, like, Oscar. And so basically, he played balloons and hammers. And so basically, uh, game one, I started out and I battle confessor really like eight night marchers, so fighting fairy belt, Bungaboo. And so, uh, I'm, so he he could not get anything set out, and I just kept on like jerseying away a bursting balloon that like won me the game. Yeah. And he kept on hammering away all my DCs, and so I need that one special charge for the game practically. To get him in, and so game two, he, uh, I, I think he got the turn one Wally on me, and then I dead drew because he in me, and I was gonna win next turn practically. Aww. And game three, I went first, so I did everything I could, and that was close because I didn't get what I needed. Um, and then game three. Yeah, I didn't get what I needed, but I still won. Oh. Just because we we're both dead drawing, but he was dead drawing worse. And, and then, like, as you told me, your, me before, your Worlds tournament was practically stacked as the next three rounds you played against three Dark Rai Tina, right? Yeah, that was like my fifth, sixth, and seventh match with Dark Rai Garatina. And like round two, I had to go against another Terminator deck. He got turn one Wally, and I did you. He dunked two Joltik, so, and so I lost. So game two, I, I got what I needed, and so I knocked him out. Round three, he just played dead drew, but he got something out, and I kept on dead drawing. I just needed an energy for the game, and I missed it out of five turns of drawing. Wow. And so he started getting set up, and so I was scared that he was going to win just because he got set up and all that, and I didn't. And then, like, like four turns later, I was DCE. And so I just knocked him out, and so he started it. And I just lice in and special charge him back, and like I did with hands, so that goes that way. So basically, I can say for all those Night March players, the way you beat Trev, get ahead of them, right? Yeah. Well, you to be always... fair, that's how you beat any deck with Night March. I think round yeah round four is against Landon, and so basically I just like game one. It it came down to whoever. It came down to. My Pokemon Cactus that like that kept on doing knockouts on Shaman. The Pokemon Catcher was pretty big in my deck. Yeah, that was one other odd thing because most people have just like taken Pokemon Catcher and said, "Oh, this card's junk." Now that you have to flip. Well, that's what Terminator does. You got to flip for hammers. Yeah, and it did really well, so. Yeah, catcher, I got I got heads most times. So I don't know. I just got lucky when I needed it, and so I just so I kept on taking two prizes. And why he couldn't last enter me? He had it in me, and so I and so 
out of the one card I drew off my prize, this I need to draw a DC. I drew into a DC, and my second card off my draw for my turn was a Lysander. I had a DC and a Lysander. <laughs> wow. It was Basically, just basically. Like, and then what about your top eight? Oh, top eight was against Tinoto, who like won the whole thing. Tina Toad, to Tina. No, he was playing Dark Ride Garantina. Oh, Dark Ride Garantina. Was it the same one that won Worlds? Yeah. Yeah. So, you... And what happened? Did you, like... Did he just, like, get ahead of you and... Well, game one, I probably four uh, Night Marchers. And so I couldn't, like, like knock out the Garantina. Because he even Chaos will only game turn two. So it was hard... And so he just won because I had, it was too late. I drew into like four fights. Game two, I won just because I, no, I won the prize and I just won that way. And like game three, uh, I had like two puzzles, a DCE, a megaphone, a versus seeker, lots of stuff. And if I would have took the double puzzle, I would have won the game. So you basically in game three just got pretty unlucky. Or to be fair, if you hit the, puzzles you would have gotten lucky yeah if i drew the puzzles off my prizes i was gonna win the game yeah. so what lessons do you feel like you learned this year in pokemon probably like make my list more consistent and and same time make it not consistent like have fun but i guess and are there any decks that you're really excited for in the next format or this format uh, as long as I get to play a Night March for like one more event, I'm good. Cause like Night March, it's just I just like how you can just go through your whole deck practically. Just wait for up. regionals, then you can get Hypnoed to death. Oh yay! Yeah, the thing was my matchup against like Night March was game two. He just whiffed the DCs like four turns, and when he actually got a DC. He went the DC so many times. I, I was actually hoping he was going to knock me off because I was sky returning him away. He went the DC, and so he had to keep on teammating for DCs. Wow. So is there anything else you want to say? Uh, I guess I give a shout-out to my sister, Rissa, and Landon, and Roan. And you, Kaden! Thanks. Um... So, congratulations, Christian, Tree Chopper, Marino, and I will see you, see you all next time. A good bye.